But efforts are underway in Madison County after storms rolled through the area last night, as we've been talking about. Yeah, Fox 59's Kid Hanley is live in uh, Perkinsville right now. I mean, a, a brick wall, portions of that building just torn right out of their kit. Yeah, Zach, Lindy, good morning. That is right. And you will see here in just a second. I'm here at the Franklin Lapel Community Schools admin building here. And though it's dark, like Zach said, you can still see just how substantial this damage is. I'm going to step out of the frame so you can take a look at this wild scene behind me. First of all, this building, it's made of brick. You can see it's surrounded by caution tape. This is about as close as we can get because this wall, it's not stable. This wall has completely been wiped out by the storms. The back wall completely wiped out as well. And you can see that half of the roof here is also missing. Now, I can tell you that some of the lights are dangling from the ceiling and many of them have been lost in the debris on the floor. Beams are barren, wires are dangling. And I took a closer look in just during the break of our last hit. And I can tell you that this is actually the gymnasium of the admin building. One of the basketball goals and the scoreboard still stands, but the other basketball goal, that has been lost in the debris somewhere. Now here in the parking lot, I can tell you there's downed branches and debris. And we also spoke with a Madison County Emergency Management Authority official after the storms last night. We're told the majority of the damage has been reported to the north of Perkinsville in the area surrounding County Road 300 North and County Road 600 West. And with school starting here, August 7th, there could be a potential transportation issue at hand as a number of buses were also caught in the storm. What I know so far is there have been no injuries reported. Um, 12 Around 12 buses have been damaged in this, and at this time we have no idea what the cost of the damage is. EMA officials also confirmed there were at least two homes damaged in Perkinsville, though the extent of the damage has not been confirmed. Now, Lindy, Zach, again, there were no injuries reported here, so that's the good news in all of this. But I did forget to mention here in my intro, over here to the left, all of the school buses are also here on the property. There's damage here to the fence, and we know now that there's been damage to about a dozen of these school buses, so it could be a problem here August 7th. Just not a good way to get the school started off. For now, reporting live in Perkinsville, Kit Hanley, Fox 59 News. And still assessing that damage there. Kit, thanks so much. And